Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here. I got a secret to tell you. You can't weigh chilling vein. Hey, you. Yeah, you there. Come here. Come, come really close. I got a secret to tell you. You can't. Did it again. It's stuck. It's stuck. I'm sorry. Hey, you over there. I got a secret here. Come, come really close. Come really close. You can't weigh chilling rain. Hopefully that was really loud. I don't know. I'll, well, the magic of editing will figure that out. But no, seriously, we're going to do a little test today. We're going to see if you can weigh chilling rain. I know the answer is no. We have weighed all the modern sets over the last number of uh, years, I guess. And there's been pretty conclusive evidence that no, you can't. Sometimes I think you can, and then you can't. So we're gonna give a little test today. This is actually only half a booster box, so again, the sample size is way too small, but this was an excuse to open up Pokemon cards, so why not? So, we're gonna be doing some weighing, and I've got my handy scale right here, and through the magic of editing, there's gonna be a seven second editing montage. Let's go. Well, that is it. We did the weighing and we range from 22.4 grams all the way to 22.65. So there is two tenths of a gram roughly, about two tenths of a gram difference. So anytime I've done this, one of the first few packs I start with the lightest and there's always a hit in it. And then I'm kind of confirms for me that no, there is no good way to weigh these packs. But we're doing it today for science and for the alternate arts. That's really why I'm doing it. So we are going to get started. We're starting with the lightest. So this is a 22.46. When I used to do these videos, I would um, uh, write on post-it notes and it was just a waste of post-it notes. So someone re recommended that I actually just write right on the package. Now I can't reweigh it because of the ink from the, the Sharpie, but um, oh, I guess I should, let's fix the camera. Okay, here we go. Let's see our first pack. This is the lightest pack. Let's see if we can get any good hits on the very lightest pack. And that will be very interesting if we do. We've got a frost glass reverse rare. That's pretty cool. And look, look at that. We have got an, <laughs> we've got a, just a V ultra rare card, but a Tornadus V ultra rare card. And I have it, but again, that doesn't matter. This was just proving that, there you go, the very lightest pack had a hit in it. Now I'm very, I'm curious to see if the heaviest pack will be the same situation. So we're gonna rip through these packs really quickly. Um, I, I, as always, I could always get really in depth and we could weigh the code cards, we could weigh the energies, we could weigh the, the hollows, the non hollows. But that's not what we're trying to do here. I'm not trying to, to really pick it out. I, I just more want to give confidence to people that yes, you can buy loose packs. If you are at a, uh, at, at a you know, your local store and you have, a, there's an open booster box that you're safe to buy them. So that's really all I'm trying to prove here. Swirlix, we've got a reverse Raboot and another V, okay. So we just got another V Ultra Rare card. So at this point, the lightest packs have had the V Ultra Rare cards. So that one was, so our first one was 22.47 and 22.46. So we have, we've hit two V Ultra Rares in the lightest packs. So now what I'm hoping we, we see uh, in this is that maybe there is a V Ultra Rare on one of the heavier packs as well. Like we, I wanna see hits throughout 22.50, 5-0, 5-0. We want to see uh, hits throughout at all the different weights. That is the goal. Um, or maybe we'll just get hits at all of them. I mean, this uh, this is only half a booster box, and I know what came in the rest of the booster box. And hopefully, we've still got some good good hits in here that we can get at least an understanding of what different types of cards. Maybe uh, you know, full art, a full art trainer, or maybe a secret rare. We'll see. Um, just to gain a gauge of what, how, like if a pack weighs a certain amount with for those. So, a reverse rare Galarian Surfetched, and we've got a Gallade non holographic. So, there is our first green code card. So, not too bad. Now, we're moving on to 22.55. So, am I going, wait, 22.55? Uh, 
Oh, that one was, that should be there. Where that should be there. We had a mixed up. 22.53. So that is the next. I was going to say that was a big jump. Let's see if we can get some hollows. Let's see if we can get some really, really good pulls. That's the ultimately the goal. And we want to prove for science that it is safe. And the Pokemon has done a good job, as they always do. Uh, on, at least on the weighing portion of it. So, bon sweet cub foo. We got an Inke reverse deerling. And an, another Gallade. Okay, well, we're just... I, good, I needed an extra Gallade. And now this is the exact same weight. So this is exactly the same. 2.5... 22.53. Let's see if there will be a non-hollow in that one as well. Um, this set has been particularly... It's funny, I've, I've had good luck and I've had bad luck. Um, it's just... It, it comes in waves, I find. But for overall, this has been a challenging set. Um, in this box, I think I got four hits on the first half of the booster box, um, and now we've got two. So, I mean, we're at six. I mean, my first booster box uh, was nothing special, to be honest with you. I think I only ended up getting seven hits, so hopefully that means I'm going to have a better booster box here. 22.55, uh, because I have seen people get as many as 10 or 12, but I've seen people get, like, five or, or, or six, so... Hopefully, we're not just going to end up with a whole bunch of green code cards in a row here. Because um, at this point, all we've proven is that the lighter packs have V cards in it, which is kind of funny. So, Snover, glaring your mask. Don't forget your mask, everybody. Cast form reverse and a Kecleon non-holographic. There we go. All right, we are moving on to 22.56. Um, I really do like this set. I love the alternate arts. But boy, has it been uh, has it been a challenging set, and I'm still missing a lot from even the main set. Like not even talking reverse, or not even talking like the 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 V Ultra rares, just missing a lot. So um, that means I still need some hollows, still need some non hollows. I think Mareep, we've got a don't forget your mask, and hey, there we go. We got a full art Leapard, Lipard. So we got a V. So that was what 22.55. Uh, or 5.6, I'm sorry. So there you go. So a little bit heavier, and now we had a V Ultra Rare Full Art uh, card. Not the not the full art that I would have hoped for. I would have preferred an alternate art. Um, there, There's definitely a lot of other cards that I would have preferred, but I, I don't have it, so I guess I can't be too upset about that. So that's good. So that would be my seventh hit of the box. So, you know, not bad. A lot of packs to go. A lot of the heavier packs that I'm very interested to see if we get something in, in the heavier packs as well. So let's see what we can get next. Love to get, uh, yeah, love to get something else really nice. Avery, Thwacky, Fog Crystal, Squovet, a Sveal, Schwirlix, you mask, Cast Form, we've got some Weeding Gloves Reverse, and hey, wow, hey, another, a Blaziken V Max. Uh, not the alternate art. I don't think I have this one yet, so that's that's pretty sweet. So there's there's our eight hits. I already have more out of this booster box than uh, than my last uh, first booster box, and I still got a lot of packs to go. So there you go. So we've just got a couple hits in a row. Again, they, they're they're towards the lighter packs, which is really interesting. So. 22.57. So I'm really interested to see, like, does that mean I'm not going to get any hits at the heavier packs? Um, are you more likely in lighter packs to get to get hits? Like, that's that's fascinating in itself. Here we go. Leaf Energy. Hatrum Drizzile. Peony. Cast Form Ladyba. Golette. Calabapus. Cast Form. We got Reverse Coughing. And a wheezing. There you go. An evolution right in front of our eyes. There we go. And there's a code card. All right. Now we're moving on to uh, 22.58. So the heaviest one, again, was 22.65. So, you know, not crazy heavy, but, you know, two hundredths, uh, two tenths of a gram pretty much from, from, the, uh, from the heaviest one that I had. So, all right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some luck. I wanna. I'd love to get ten hits out of this box. That would be really, really nice. Cub Fu Blitzel, Lucky Energy Reverse, and a Hollow, a Holographic Beedrill. So you know, again, we're really close to the same weights 
for the for now even hollows that was our first hollow card non ultra rare and it was heavier than the ultra rares and around the same weight as the other uh you know non hollows so we got 22.59 so uh, just a, a hundredth of a gram heavier let's see if we get some more luck there one two three four but I am looking forward to, uh, you know, continue to open this set, but we've got Evolving Skies. We've got Celebrations. There's there's a lot to look forward to in Pokemon cards and the Pokemon TCG this year. Um, that's going to cost some money. There's going to be some shekels handed out to the retailers. Sobble Reverse. And we've got a Tapu Fini holographic. That's pretty good. I think I need the actual hollow of that one, so that's great. So another holographic around that same weight. So... 22.59 so this is the exact same weight um as the tapu fini there so i'm curious to see if we're gonna get another hollow hit or or if it's gonna be um a non-hollow i feel like we've actually done pretty well with with green code cards so far which is which is or sorry white code cards um very much happy with that galarian chest plate hatena aa ron venipede bon sweet ain't no shame in this card Bad joke, bad joke. Reverse rare, and we've got another holographic. Okay, Lycanroc. So those last two packs were the exact same weight, and they both had a holographic in it. So this happens to be also the same weight, 22.59. So will we see another holo card in this at that exact same weight, or will this one move to a non-holographic? That's going to be oh, that's going to be kind of interesting. One, two, three, four. And we're getting into the heavier packs now, which is going to be great after this one. Flaffy Clara, Haunt, Blitzel Ghastly, Coughing Santa Claus, Galarian Farfetch'd, a Reverse Rare Greedent, and a Banet Non-Holographic. So there you go. There you go. So we got nothing out of that one. So, I mean, definitively, we have not had... I would say the Ultra Rares have come at the lighter weights so far, but they're all so close. Here's another 22.59, so... That's interesting. Um, I hope we get one more Ultra Rare at least, just to, um, you know, we're at eight for this box. Hopefully we see some of the heavier weights right now. Impact Energy, Porygon 2. A Golette, Porygon. Grookey, Marip. We've got a Rock Ruff, a Surviper Reverse, and a Surviper. I have got so many Survipers. Reverse Hollows and non Hollows. It's kind of crazy, to be honest with you. All right, 22.60. So we're getting up there now. We're in the sixes. Let's see if we can pull an ultra rare. That's what I'm hopeful that we can do uh, just to just show that the weights just truly don't make a difference at all. And uh, of course, I want more ultra rares. Who doesn't want more ultra rares? Just to, to prove that... Uh, or not to prove, I just I just want more ultra rares. I want to I want to complete as much of this set as I can. A Clavopus and a Cabalion, uh, a holographic. So again, another hollow, no ultra rare, but another hollow. So you know we're getting we're still getting the hollows up up high and down low and to the sides. So that's good. Twenty two point six again, and then the last two are the heaviest of. The, uh, of the bunch. So I'm curious to see if we're going to get anything or are they going to be mean mean nothing. It's going to mean nothing. So some fire resistant gloves. Crabominable spiral energy. A score bunny. Yeah, there's lots of fire in this one. Golet Deerling. Sneasel. A Galarian Slowpoke. And a Scolipede non-holographic. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't see a correlation Apart from the only thing is that the lightest packs had all those ultra rares in it. So I'm hopeful one of these last two will have it. So this is 22.64. This is the second heaviest from this opening. Hopefully we've got a, I mean, I would love a full art trainer. I would love a, a secret rare. There's there's lots of cards I would love to get out of this uh, out of this set. So hopefully we got something spicy here. Honey Avery. I mean, there's, there's some great full art trainers right there. Furfro, Venipede, Sveal, Crab Brawler. We've got Melanie Reverse and another holographic. Okay, there you go. Hollow Cinderace. Hollow Cinderace. Might need that one. So last pack, this is the heaviest of the packs is 22.65. It would be great for there to be a green code card in here. But again, we're only at eight. I would like more. 
I, I see some people's uh, booster boxes and they just have far better luck than, than we've had, uh, than I've had myself. So, all right, let's finish with some last pack magic. Let's get an alt art. Let's get, I mean, I feel like this, this box is, you know, I haven't had a great booster box yet. So let's finish with some last pack magic. Diglett, we've got crushing gloves and we are finishing with, oh, there we go. A full art peony. So the heaviest pack had a full art trainer. Does that mean anything? I still say no. We had some hits at the beginning of this box. So guys, if you could, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.